We will talk now about Surah 2 verse 30 and in here we will make it short talk about verse by verse because really it's very very crazy Behold the Lord say to the angels I will create a Khalifa someone who is, a, is going to take over the earth they said you will create someone he will do mischievement in earth and shed blood now the question here you will see a very very easy this you know mistake to discover Allah is training the angels right now and he is reporting something he will do he did not do yet I will create and all of us we speak English good right in Arabic he's saying in Khalifa he will do that so I will create Khalifa I will create someone who will rule the earth he will take over the earth he mean the human and right away the angels they say to him you will place someone on earth who will do mischievement and shed blood I don't know if anybody noticed the mistake how angels they knew even what Allah is thinking about even he did not create Adam yet Adam is not exist as you see he's saying I will create I will the answer right away you will create someone he will do shed blood you know, he, he, and he will do mischievement on earth, which means he will do sin and killing, etc. So, how angels was able to know such a thing? I know that God, he can read my mind. And the Quran even say that only Allah, يعلم الغيوب, only Allah, he knew what is in your mind and what is in the future. Only Allah. Now we see that angels, they knew what is in Allah's mind. They can read his mind, not only his mind, they are reading even what is going to happen in the future of the life of Adam and the generation will come after him. How? How? I challenge any Muslim to tell me how. Either God he knew only or God and angels they knew that. But, you know, if angels know what I will do, okay, fine, what I will do when I am exist not even before God created me angels they are talking about human race is not exist yet it's not exist he is saying I will create I will he didn't say I did create Adam then they said to him well he is going to do mischievement and they are speaking as sure and God Allah he said to them look at look at this ignorant too Allah he said to them I know what you know not which mean in here Allah is saying to them you are wrong Adam he will not do mischievement I know Adam will not do bloodshed Adam will not do killing and when we say Adam by the way we mean Adam me and you too not only the first Adam because Adam re represent every son of Adam so how angels was able to know what Allah will create and what is that the create will do and how come Allah he is answering wrong answer because all of us we know that's Adam he will do all what the angels said not what Allah said angels said he will do bloodshed Allah said no because he said to them I know what you know not so he is proving them wrong and if you continue the verse you will see Allah is teaching Adam the names and, uh, and then he placed the names in the front of the, uh, the angels then he taught Adam's all the names of things and then he placed them in, you know, before the angels and said tell them the names of these if you are right so if you are right about what? if you are right about Adam if you are right about Adam he will do mischievement and Adam will do killing and Adam will do bloodshed if you are right tell me the names I taught Adam he is challenging them to prove that he is wrong and they are right about Adam. And then the angels give up and they said, we don't know, you know better, you are the God. You are the glory of the knowledge, you are the wisdom. You know, just because he knew a name, he created himself, he became a wisdom. What about I name my dog, Jimmy, and I ask you, what is the dog, my dog name? And you say, I don't know. Then I say to you, well, his name is Jimmy. You have to believe now in me as God because I told you his name. As long as you are the one who named the names, what a big deal if you know them. This is another stupid mistake in the Quran. Let us continue. <clears throat> After the angels give up, 
Then he asked Adam, he continued, this guy, he, he insists to prove himself to the angels that he's God. Sound like those angels don't believe in him it's still. He created them, but he don't, they don't believe. This is funny. So he asked Adam to say the names, tell them their names. I don't know what names he will tell them. I thought the names are the things, but now he's saying, tell them their names. There, it's mean angels. I thought the question was about things he placed in front of them, not about their names. Now let us continue. Allah said, uh, uh, that's you know what I told you and when he had told them Allah said didn't I tell you you that I know the secrets of heaven and earth by knowing those names he made himself he is a proven that he knew the secrets of heaven and earth when you just say that's Adam he will not do mischief in earth and the angels know more than you Allah now Allah punishing the angels because they did say something is that true about Adam that he will do mischievement and he said to them and behold we said to angels bow down to Adam and they bow down not so Iblis this is an, a different verse we will talk about it later but let us finish about the angels now so Allah is ordering the angels to worship Adam or to bow down Adam as a punishment now if it's a punishment this is a very weird punishment because what angels did it is not a sin now, if it is a sin, it means angels can do sin. And this is against the nature of angels. So why Allah ordered them as a punishment to bow down to Adam? Somebody, some Muslim will say to you, he ordered them to bow down as a respect. As a respect. respect Adam for what? For he is going to be a sinner? He is just a creation of God. Who is, which one is he need to be respected more? The one who will never commit sin or the one who will be a sinner? The angels will never commit sin, so they deserve more respect, not Adam. So even if you say respect doesn't make sense at all. Now it's very clear it's a punishment for angels because they say to God that this is a man who will do sin and mischiefment on earth. So he said to them bow down to Adam as a punishment because he just proved them that they are wrong. Adam will not do that. But later we found out that's Adam. He was a big time sinner. And Allah himself, he kicked him out of the heaven according to Quran. And you will see that in the verse after, and this is a proof that's the whole idea, the whole story of Allah about He knew the future, huh? It is a lie, you know. And we said to Adam, "Go and leave you and your wife in the garden and eat all the beautiful things, but don't approach that tree." Then the Satan he came and he kicked him out, or he made them, he, he deceived him, he made him commit sin, so he was kicked out of the uh, 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 heaven. Now we will talk about this in the second video. Be, please uh, follow up.